Hey guys, so today I'll be showing you how to code in folding mirrors on your E9X chassis. It's really cool, as long as you uh, hold the lock button, it will start folding the mirrors in. And there will be another cool little trick that goes along with this too, where normally you'd have to unplug the key from the fob and lock it in the door and hold it that way to roll all the windows back up. Because as some of you may know, when you hold on lock on the key fob, it'll roll all the windows down. But to roll them back up, you have to do that thing with the key. So now when you actually hold the lock button, all the windows will roll back up in addition to the mirrors folding in. It's a really cool feature, and if you want, you can still just lock the car with one press. Nothing will happen other than just the car locking. But if you actually hold it, then the thing with the windows going all the way back up and the mirrors folding in will happen. So it's really cool. You can pick and choose whenever you want to fold your mirrors in. So let's get right to it. All right, guys, so I've got Pro Tool launched and I'm connected to the car through the OBD2 port over there. So initially when you do connect, it'll ask you for your generation. I'm generation two since I'm an E90. So once you successfully connect it, it'll say connect it over there. You just go to safety, footwell module, coding, edit coding. I believe I already have a backup from last time I did this, so I'll just hit cancel. Uh, you go down just a little bit down here to folding mirrors with fob, and that will normally be disabled, so you'll just hit enabled, like I have right there. Uh, hit finalize. It's gonna ask you to cycle your ignition. So you'll just turn it off. Wait a few seconds. And then power it back on. All right. And then there's one more thing you'll need to make sure is on. The second thing you'll have to enable is in safety again. You go to the car access system, coding, edit coding. And then I'll just hit cancel right there. So it'll be comfort closing fob right here. You'll need to make sure that that's enabled in order for the folding mirrors to actually work. Another cool thing that this does, because this is actually normally disabled, on our cars is as some of you may know when you hold the unlock button it'll roll down all the windows including the sunroof if you hold it uh, a little longer so to roll them back up normally you'd have to plug in the key to the door and actually uh, lock the car and hold it that way for it to roll all the windows back up with this you can actually just hold the lock button on your key fob and roll them back up that way so that's a really cool little feature as well that this does all right guys, so now when you lock it, and then you hold it the second time, the mirror's pulled on just like that. So you know, normally you just hold on lock, the windows go down like that. So normally in the past you'd have to take this out, put it in the uh, key lock right there. You have to turn it uh, towards the locking position and hold it for the windows to go back up. And now time to show you what everyone wants to see. So you just lock it like normal and hold it. Mirrors fold in. All the windows go up now. No more having to take the key out. Now another thing that's really cool about this too is that when you unlock it, they will automatically fold out like that. So no need to open the door, actually get in and start it. They do just automatically fold out as soon as you hit unlock. And another cool thing is if you want to lock it, still can, just like that, and they won't fold in unless you actually hold it. So guys, I really hope that helps some of you out. As you saw, you get two really cool features out of this. One, your windows will roll up now by just holding the lock button on the key fob, and your mirrors will fold in. Now, this only makes sense since from the factory, your unlock button, when you hold it, will roll all the windows down, but to roll them back up, you would need to put the key into the door and hold it in the lock position. So this way you can do it all from the remote, and also it's worth mentioning, you could do this without Pro Tool. You can use any coding software that allows you to change those two parameters. You have to change both for this to work. But if there's any other tutorials or do it yourself, things like that, maybe with coding that you guys wanna see, drop it in the comments and I can make a video on it. And if this helps you, please leave a like and consider subscribing. I'm gonna be doing more of these videos and as many as I can really. Um, so I hope to see you guys in the next video and have a good one as always.